When the court resumes tomorrow after the holiday weekend, it will be without a longtime family law judge here in Davidson County. Phil Smith passed away unexpectedly over the weekend. He had just been sworn into another term. News Channel 5's Chris Davis spoke with his friends about what they'll miss the most. For the first time in a dozen years, Judge Phil Smith's courtroom will sit empty. I think uh, everyone's still in shock. The legal community is still in shock. Smith passed away over the weekend. He was just 62 years old. We had just sworn in a lot of folks, and Judge Smith had participated in the swearing in of some folks I know. Metro Councilman Freddie O'Connell just saw Judge Smith for the first time since the pandemic. He had no idea it would be their last. You think you're celebrating and it turns out you're saying goodbye to somebody. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo had several clients appear in Judge Smith's courtroom. Divorces, you know, modifications uh, of parenting plans, uh, also adoptions. No matter the complexities of the case, Leonardo says Judge Smith was always fair. Judge Smith had a unique gift. Uh, he had the ability to hear really bad facts about a party uh, at a trial, but yet he was still able to be fair and have a fair ruling at the very end. Uh, he understood that genuinely he had really good folks that were coming before him, but he was just seeing them on their worst day. Long before Smith became a judge, he was a respected trial lawyer that was often seen right here on News Channel 5. Law favors a natural parent. For high profile cases like the trial of Mary Wrinkler, the parents' rights are superior, and the complex custody battle between accused murderer Perry March and his former in laws. It's a bit of a unique domestic case. It's got an international twist to it. Our reporters turned to Phil Smith for analysis. In regard to adoption, she would step into the shoes of the biological parent and have the same rights. And though his courtroom is now empty, those who knew him feel full of appreciation for all he did for Nashville. Every time you saw him, he was ready with a quick smile. You know, he just had that um, that air of somebody that if you if you needed him to be there for you, you knew he was going to be there for you. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.